The girl poured her drink onto another girl's rice. Watching the drink-soaked rice in front of her, the timid girl reluctantly ate it. Her pleas for mercy were ignored, and her classmates even dumped more food onto her. A chubby guy couldn't stand it anymore and stepped in to stop them. The school bully didn't understand why the timid guy suddenly changed and threatened him to wait after school. Little did the bully know that the chubby guy in front of him wasn't the same person. Originally weak and always bullied by the school bully, the chubby guy had been forced to climb the roof two days earlier to fetch shoes and fell off, landing right on a man standing below. This man was a former gang leader who married the chairman's daughter and became the company president, but the fall sent him straight to the hospital. President Jang Pansu slowly regained consciousness in the hospital. <laughs> when Pansu reached another hospital room, he was shocked to see his own body lying there. At that moment, the father of the high schooler Kim Donghyun arrived at the hospital. Pansu was stunned to see his face as a high school student. The doctor could only explain Pansu's condition as temporary amnesia. Pansu secretly went home and saw his wife crying, thinking she was mourning him, but it turned out that she was upset about her broken necklace. <laughs> In a panic, his wife called security. No matter how Pansu tried to explain, his wife was convinced he was a madman. Pansu was overpowered by security and taken to the police station. Dong Hyun's father had to explain Pansu's situation as mental instability due to his injury, and the police released him. Back at the hospital, Pansu pounded on his own body, hoping to switch souls back, just as his subordinate, Man Chul, walked in. Man Chul recognized Dong Hyun as the high school student responsible for Pansu's coma. Unable to explain, Pansu seized the opportunity to escape and follow Dong Hyun's father home. Dong Hyun's dad took Pansu to the school to meet with the principal, trying to find out if Dong Hyun was being bullied. The principal denied everything. Pansu told Dong Hyun's dad to leave, deciding to investigate the truth himself. The former gang leader boldly entered the classroom. After sitting down, a group of arrogant boys made disrespectful gestures toward him. Pansu realized they must be involved in the situation. When Dong Hyun went to the cafeteria for lunch, he saw the girl Hyun Yun being bullied. At first, he didn't want to get involved, but the girls went too far. Pansu stepped in to stop them, which angered the delinquent boy who had flipped him off earlier. The delinquent was about to lash out but was stopped by a teacher who had just walked in. The delinquent warned him to wait until after school. After school, the delinquent swaggered up to Pansu. Pansu just walked away coolly. Frustrated, they took out their anger on Dong Hyun's deskmate. They were worried that Dong Hyun's deskmate might tell others about the beating, so they threatened him, and Pansu happened to be there. <laughs> Pansu picked up the phone and saw photos of Dong Hyun being bullied. The delinquent tried to snatch the phone back. <laughs> <laughs> When Pansu got home, he took out the phone and saw the entire sequence of Dong Hyun's fall from the building. Meanwhile, Pansu's wife was meeting with a man but was intercepted by a competitor who took some compromising photos. The competitor planned to use Pansu's wife to take him down. Pansu found his right-hand man, Man Chul, and revealed his true identity. But Man Chul didn't believe him. Pansu had to recount everything Man Chul had done in the past. Hearing the old stories, Man Chul finally believed him. One day after school, Pansu was bumped into by Hyun Young on his way home. About to get angry, he saw that Hyun Young had dropped a teddy bear and chased after her to return it. As he was about to leave, Hyun Young's mother suddenly appeared. Seeing Hyun Young's mother left Pansu in shock. <laughs> Back home, Pansu remembered his past with Misun. He suddenly suspected that Hyun Young was his daughter and had Man Chul secretly take a sample of his hair. The next day, Pansu took the opportunity to pull out a strand of Hyun Young's hair. The paternity test showed that Hyun Young was indeed his daughter. Thinking of the bullying Hyun Young endured at school, he felt guilty. 
Pansu decided to go into protective mode for his daughter, a delinquent girl used the excuse of missing lip gloss to pick on Hyun Young again, accusing her of stealing it. Pansu stood up and claimed that he was the one who took it. He brought in Manchul and gave him information on the girls, marking where each one should have a fracture. Man Shul was hesitant to harm high school students. Pansu decided to inform Misun about Hyun Young being bullied by classmates. As a single mother, she could only feel heartbroken and curse Pansu for being a heartless man. Pansu had to handle the situation himself. Meanwhile, Pansu's wife went to her father, presenting falsified accounts made by their rival, claiming that Pansu embezzled 30 billion won from the company to prevent Hyun Young from being bullied again. Pansu tricked her into going to a boxing gym. He had Man Shul pose as a coach to give Hyun Young special training. The two of them started an intense fitness regimen. Hyun Young visibly improved at a rapid pace. <laughs> When he went to school again, the girls were shocked. Pansu made an excuse to visit Hyun Young's house. While Hyun Young was changing clothes, he saw photos of her as a baby and took pictures of them. Every day during class, he would daydream while looking at Hyun Young's photos. In the cafeteria, the delinquent girl came to trouble Hyun Young again. This time, Hyun Young didn't back down and retorted with words. <laughs> Mi Sun, to thank Pansu for helping her daughter grow, invited him to a hot pot feast. Some drunken men took the opportunity to harass Mi Sun. Pansu couldn't stand it and stood up to confront the drunks. One of the drunks tried to start a fight but was subdued by Pansu. To prevent Mi Sun from getting hurt, he pushed her into the kitchen and fought with the drunks. <laughs> Nissan, worried someone might be seriously injured, tried to stop Pansu but accidentally called out his name. Realizing he couldn't hide any longer, Pansu revealed to Nissan that he was Pansu and explained the soul swap. Nissan was unwilling to believe him, but Pansu recounted their past, from when they met to when they got to know each other. Nissan finally believed he was Pansu. Her attitude changed immediately as she told him to get out of her sight. Seeing Nissan's firm stance, Pansu had no choice but to leave temporarily. Nissan reflected on the past. That day, Hyun Young was invited by the senior she had a crush on to his birthday party, and she happily agreed. She dressed up carefully and went to the party. Dong Hyun's deskmate, who was running errands for the delinquent girls, overheard the senior's plan against Hyun Young. Pansu arranged to meet with Misun to seek forgiveness, but Misun didn't want to forgive the jerk who abandoned her. After making it clear she wanted nothing to do with Pansu, she got up to leave. Pansu stood up and grabbed her hand. <laughs> Still unwilling to let go, Pansu suddenly received a call from the deskmate, informing him that Hyun Young was in danger. Pansu hurried to find the delinquent girl, asking her to take him to the party. At that moment, the senior revealed his true colors and brought a large bowl of alcohol, intending to get Hyun Young drunk, but she refused because she didn't drink. Seeing Hyun Young being so uncooperative, the senior dropped the act and poured the drink on her. Pansu drove over, took down the security guards at the door, and rushed inside. He arrived just in time to see Hyun Young being bullied and covered her with his coat, intending to take her away. The senior wasn't happy and pulled Hyun Young back, ordering others to teach Pansu a lesson. Pansu quickly dealt with the group of lackeys with a few punches and kicks. The delinquent girl was impressed by Pansu's cool moves. Pansu confidently led Hyun Young out of the party. Man Chul informed Pansu that his wife had colluded with the rival to frame him for embezzling company funds. Pansu had him break into the president's residence and single-handedly defeated all the lackeys. He approached the president and handed over a letter written by Pansu. One day, the delinquent girl stopped Pansu. 
Pansu thought she wanted to cause trouble for Hyun Young again, but instead, she shyly asked about his relationship with Hyun Young. A stark contrast to her usual arrogant demeanor, Pansu clarified that he and Hyun Young were not a couple. After giving him a gift, the girl ran off shyly. As Pansu was about to open the gift, Hyun Young noticed it. Pansu tried to explain but was suddenly caught off guard when Hyun Young confessed her feelings to him, so he decided to retreat for the moment. Hyun Young couldn't understand why her mother objected to her dating Pansu. Misun couldn't explain her reasons either. Hyun Young was determined to have Pansu, who cared for her like a father. As her boyfriend, Misun could only confront Pansu, partially questioning what he had done to make Hyun Young confess to him. Pansu expressed his helplessness. Misun demanded he disappear from Hyun Young's life. Hyun Young accidentally overheard Pansu confessing his love to her mother, and her world instantly shattered. She believed her mother's opposition was because she wanted to be with Pansu herself. Without listening to Mi Sun's explanations, Hyun Young left in tears. Mi Sun angrily attacked Pansu with punches and kicks. Meanwhile, Dong Hyun, whose soul was swapped, woke up with Pansu's face and returned home, shocking his father. At this moment, Pansu also arrived. Dong Hyun, seeing his own face in front of him, was stunned and incredulous at how handsome he looked after losing weight. The group discussed the soul swap situation. Dong Hyun's father, seeing his son with a scruffy beard acting coy, was filled with disbelief. However, listening to his son with the scruffy beard recount the past, he had no choice but to accept everything. Pansu brought the groomed Dong Hyun to see Mi Sun. Upon seeing the familiar man in front of her, Mi Sun was captivated once again, just as she was about to express her feelings. The antagonist made a poorly timed appearance, intending to take Pansu out while he was still vulnerable. Seeing the menacing antagonist, Dong Hyun almost burst into tears. Pansu pushed Mi Sun and Dong Hyun into the kitchen and then stood guard at the kitchen door. As a high school student, Pansu defiantly faced the antagonist, ready for a showdown. Even though Pansu was in a different body. His skills remained sharp. After swiftly taking down a few thugs, he was eventually overwhelmed by sheer numbers and knocked to the ground. Just as his life was in danger, Mi Sun saved him by brandishing a gas tank and opening the valve. She threatened to blow them all up with a lighter if anyone dared to harm the father of her child. Pansu gently took the lighter from Mi Sun's hand. Once everyone fled, Dong Hyun came out with a frying pan to show off a bit. The chairman called in Pansu's wife and presented Pansu's letter. In the letter, Pansu revealed his wife's conspiracy in full detail. The chairman trusted his son-in-law Pansu completely and apprehended the traitor who colluded with his daughter. The chairman also summoned Pansu, but since Pansu couldn't appear in person, he had Dong Hyun wear headphones to deal with the chairman. Pansu remotely guided Dong Hyun, and the chairman decided to reclaim all his daughter's assets and let Pansu inherit his business. In an attempt to win back favor, Pansu's wife revealed the existence of Pansu's illegitimate daughter, Hyun Yong, the chairman, incredulous, asked Pansu if it was true. At that moment, the headphone signal was lost, and Dong Hyun had no choice but to admit it openly. Dong Hyun spoke frankly and expressed his view that being with family is true happiness, renouncing the position of heir and returning to Mi Sun's side for Pansu. <laughs> The chairman had no reason to hold him back. Dong Hyun had little regard for wealth. Dong Hyun's actions turned Pansu back into an ordinary citizen. Pansu, however, did not blame him and thanked Dong Hyun for making the choice for him. Out of jealousy, Pansu's wife drove a car into the two of them. <laughs> Pansu pushed Dong Hyun out of the way. Pansu was rushed to the hospital, and Dong Hyun suddenly fainted. The two of them returned to their original bodies. When Dong Hyun returned to school, everyone was very warm to him. Even the guys who used to bully him greeted him. Much to Dong Hyun's surprise, Dong Hyun and Hyun Young officially became a couple, and Mi Sun accepted Pansu. With everyone becoming a family, Man Chul remained loyally by Pansu's side. Working as a mover for Pansu's shop, they were not wealthy in terms of money, but when it came to love, they were rich beyond measure. 